Good, man. How are you? Doing good. Knocking out some uh, pre-production for a shoot I got coming up. Well, uh, I think I, I've got a concise um, communication on what I'm looking for. I talked to a few of my guys and got a better idea of kind of the unique uh, production we're looking to pull off down there. Okay. Um, so if you don't mind, I can just kind of rattle off what I'm looking for, and you tell me if it sounds like something you might be interested in. All right, man. Let me hear it. All right. So um, we're do- trying to do a pretty uh Stripped down production, um, you know, at cost because this is a construction company. They don't have a huge budget. And what we're ultimately looking for, the the problem we're trying to solve is we're either going to send our guys and take on, not take on, but have to bill for the cost of travel, hotel, and those hard costs of time. Mm -hmm. Or where the cost-saving opportunity would be is to essentially hire what would be a, you know, a one man cameraman for the day or a two day period at whatever that rate is. Somebody who would have to be skilled enough to kind of go on the run with us and our shot list. Okay. We provide that pre production information, a shot list, most likely somewhat scouted locations, you know, with with um, you know, location of the address and, and some visuals of the home maybe. Um, there wouldn't be any scouting beforehand, you know, of probably be being on site because we would send our producer or director down there as well as an account person okay. to be with the client. So it'd kind of be like a three-man show, two of those guys being our guy and then this camera operator. And we'd want them to use their equipment, whoever that might be, kind of judging on what kind of camera they have, assuming that, you know, a modern-day 4K camera can get us good enough footage um, for a lot of these kind of produce shots of customer with a customer with a salesperson at the door, a shot outside the home, you know, might be a, a kind of different kind of panning shot outside the home, and a few different outdoor shots mostly, um, where we wouldn't require heavy lighting or anything for indoor shots. Gotcha. So and again, all provided in a shot list. You know, at least there'd be some communication and planning in advance. Got it. So, would this be a profile business video you guys are shooting? What kind of video were you talking about, just so I have an idea? Yeah, we're talking commercial production for television use. So, oh, okay, cool. um, 15 and 30 second spot production. Gotcha. Uh, any, yeah. di- any dialogue? Um, yes, we'd have... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no um, on mic dialogue in those shots. Everything's going to be professionally voiced over in post production. Um, you know, on site here in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, cool. Um, so our hourly yeah, rate. Yeah, B-roll footage, really. Yeah. So our hourly rate is two hundred an hour. So our day rate is sixteen hundred bucks. Okay, so if I, you know, two days would be uh, 3200 Correct. All right, and that would be, is that negotiable at all? Uh, if we tried to do something where we did give you a, a two-month, uh, you know, two or three-month notice, or what is your, what's your schedule look like for planning something like that out? I mean, for something like that, we don't, I mean, it, I mean it's definitely negotiable. Where, where's the sweet spot for you? Like, where does this project need to be at? You know, that's actually somewhere in that area, to be honest. I think 3200 is probably less than what it would take us to send, you know, equipment, another person, another hotel room, another eight-hour, 16-hour day. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I mean, you're probably right there. I'm just asking if that's negotiable. So, because i got to go, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, the final decision maker on this. I've got a production to so that. Yeah. And a report and that. Got it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, that sounds doable. I mean, I, my thought would be uh, if we priced you out and it was doable, um, you know, my guys might, I might put you in touch with our producer, Rod, who would probably take the uh, the next steps further with you, honestly. All right, cool. And then that 3200 you actually, you would get me and another person. wouldn't just be me coming out there to help just make sure everything's smooth as possible. Okay. That's definitely some value that, you know, we'd more than appreciate because, you know, you know, I know you know how it goes. I've been on plenty of productions to know how it goes. Yeah. That extra hand is always useful. 
Oh, it's huge, man. It's huge. Devil's in the details. Uh huh. Uh, so when are you guys looking to shoot? <clears throat> um, there is a little bit of Florida, uh, you know, uh, weather that we're kind of playing around. Yeah. If some of these shots are, you know, the extreme heat, we don't want people sweating and dripping all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're looking at fall. Um, again, not knowing exactly what travel and, you know, uh, the world health situation will be like, but that's kind of our tentative time frame. I don't know if that's uh, September or October quite yet, okay. but that would make sense. Gotcha. Okay. And right now, we're really just working out these cost details yeah. to kind of present to the client, you know, like, hey, we can do it this way or we can do it that way. And, uh, you know, this got kind of held up. We wanted to do it back in April, but here we are. Yeah, and I know how that goes. Yeah. So we're, uh, you're based out of West Palm? That's correct, yep. Okay. So we also, the cool thing, this company is really growing um, – I used to do work down there in West Palm with TV stations, like what, WP, TV, and, and a few of the other, the, all the local TV stations. Okay. Um, so we actually might, you know, the cool thing is we might have some more opportunities, like their northern Florida is where they're really based out of. They're expanding through Naples, Fort Myers, and West Palm down to Miami eventually. So uh -huh. um, the ability, what we could have long-term, Rodrigo, would be once you guys learn our style and what we're looking for in this first shoot, there could be an ability to say, hey, um, we're in Omaha, obviously, mm -hmm. but I want to book you guys out for another day shoot um, up in, in March, and can you go out? Here's the scouted, scouted location. You guys get what you already know we want. Yeah. And do it on your own. And then we pay, you know, I mean, we work out a whole, however we do that, you know. Yep. And we can basically hire you out get us you could kind of be a there could be a little bit of a partnership growing moving forward and that is something we really would like to ultimately have yeah that'd be awesome we actually we actually work with uh comcast down here as one of their production partners for their uh with a, like comcast spotlight for their all their local spots yeah when uh, they sell business locally and create commercials correct yeah so we, we work with them a lot awesome so we love to create something so like that with you guys yeah, that's great. We do that with uh, Cox Communications okay. here in the Midwest, so I know that kind of relationship well. Um, yeah, man, that's great. Well, why don't we, I think we can wrap this call. I'll take that $3,200 quote back to my guys. If they're interested and want to talk forward, I'll put you in touch with uh, my guy Rod, uh -huh. and we'll see if we can move forward with it. I don't, I'm not trying to shop around a ton of people. I'm looking for somebody who... Uh, can get the job done. It sounds like you guys already probably meet all the qualifications to be all right. So I appreciate that. All right, man. Well, thanks for your time. Hi, buddy. Take care. All right, bye. Peace. There you go, guys. That is a real life call with a client trying to close a deal. You just got to be confident. You got to know your number. Um, so that's it. If you guys love this content, smash the like button. Leave in the comments what you want to learn next, and then I'll see you guys next time. Peace.